Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. Today we are doing a Zoom screen sharing video as um, I'm going to share some news that Universal sent today. Universal has followed Walt Disney as the close indefinitely, but Universal was supposed to open in 10 days, April 19th, due to the rapidly, uh, rapidly evolving coronavirus situation. That is not, does not seem to be possible. So they extended the closures through May 31st with this statement. They have said, we know coronavirus COVID-19 has impacted many parts of your life, including your travel and vacation plans. We'll be eager to welcome you back to our theme parks and destinations when the time comes. For now, we must take the health and safety of our guests and team members, and our, which is our top priority, and we'll continue to take guidance from health agencies and government officials. This means we are extending the closure of Universal Orlando Resort and Universal Studios Hollywood at least through May 31st. This includes our theme parks, Universal City Walk, and both destinations. The Universal Orlando Resort and hotels have lost attempt to suspend operations throughout this time period. We have created flexible programs for guests who have purchased tickets with us. Here are answers to some of our most asked questions. Guests with specific questions you can call this number for more information 1 866 258 6546. Now, it's very interesting because data result. I feel like California and Florida are different. Florida started the stay at home order, the social distancing, or the complete basic lockdown just about a week ago. California has been doing this for about a month, going to week five next week. So California is actually the first state to do it, and it's actually worked so well that we are starting to flatten the curve and the the computer models that they've been using have moved up the peak from April 26th to April 14th, which is just next week. They anticipate as completely flattening the curve, um, us being the state of California, through uh, by mid-May, which is about May 15th. That's about the same time the Knots and Six Flags have planned to reopen their parks. As of now, we don't know if it's going be extended. But I'm very interested if, because um, again, Universal, it's not one unit, okay? It's not, you don't have to open up Disney World and Disneyland at the same time. Um, Universal Orlando and uh, Hollywood at the same time. It's something they want, probably wouldn't most likely do, but because Florida is so behind or they just enacted that, um, their stay at home order, again, just last week or so, then it's very likely California will have fewer cases. Sorry, guys. Uh, fewer cases than, um, or sorry, I have no new cases before Florida does, which means if California is all ready to go, will Universal and Disney wait until Florida is ready, then open their parks? I think they'd want to open their parks um, as soon as possible. So if that means opening up Universal Hollywood first, potentially Disneyland, um, and then obviously the Six Facts and Cedar Fair parks, if they want to open up first, just our region because we're first and we did first, I think that's what they're gonna do. But when they reopen, though obviously we're not reopen the same, shows probably won't be happening. Um, at Disneyland, of course, parades and fireworks won't be happening, at least for the first few months. And I wonder if Universal will do the same thing, because Universal's not very busy in general. Like, outside of the peak season, the, the uh, summer and the, the winter, <laughs> Universal is not a very busy place. It's more of a tourist park. There's not a lot of annual pass holders. I mean, I am one, and actually there's there's quite a bit, but there's not as many as, like, Disneyland. It's definitely a lot of tourists, a lot of especially international tourists, and this is just statistically from observations, even in statistics, statistics, a lot of tourists are from Asia, the Asian countries. Um, so with international tourism from Asia and all over the world down, there, um, that I, there obviously won't be a lot of Asian tourists or any tourists from in, mostly from international um, countries. So that means it just probably won't be busy, <laughs> even if it's just only pass holders and local people throughout the entire um, park. In fact, Universal is trying to get you before this whole situation started. They're trying to get more people to get their annual pass, become annual pass holders by offering as much as a $60 off on some of their annual passes. So that shows they're definitely trying to get some more of a local fan base, potentially um, for situations like this. Disneyland's 
that he fares better than all the um theme or than than all the theme park or at least in the major chains because again Disney World is a more tourist space people are not going to be flying to Disney World simply because they may not want to or even can't afford it. But if you're in, or if you're already paying for an annual pass holder, if you already paid for Disneyland, you can already just go there. Um, especially if you have the signature and have no block updates. <laughs> so Universal will be very, very empty. So I wonder if they will even do half capacity because it doesn't really even fill up to capacity. I don't even, I wonder if it even gets to half capacity <laughs> on let's say on Monday through Friday. Or I wonder if then I know virtual Secret Lab Prince has virtual queues, but I wonder if uh I wonder if the other rides will have virtual queues like Disneyland's doing, or again, if they're just, because again, they're mostly five to 15 minute waits during the weekdays at least. So I feel like they won't even need it. So I feel like in that regard, Universal will be more normal in terms of theme park operations versus Disneyland when it's open, simply because there's not as many people that go there. I feel like that'll be the same thing for Knott's and even Six Flags. Um, they'll be a little bit more normal. Um, Nots probably won't do its major shows, but I, I feel like the Six Flags and Nots and definitely Six Flags and Universal will be the like most normal parks. Um, besides maybe some shows, that uh, Six Flags is, doesn't even have any shows that you think of, so that's probably will be the complete normal park. But let me know in this poll above um, if will you be going to Disneyland or any theme park. <laughs> when they reopen or are you gonna just kind of you know kind of wait a little bit also will you be um would do you, would you rather them open as soon as possible with limited operations or would you rather the uh, would you rather wait a few more months for the full experience but a few more months can be till vaccine comes in about like a year so would you rather wait all the way until then or would you rather take a uh, take some and give some so to say would you rather have the parks open up but have no uh really entertainment but some rides i i definitely want the parks to open up so i want to i i i would uh wait a little bit for the show i won't wait it's okay if the shows uh get delayed a little bit that's totally fine i definitely just really miss just even just walking um <laughs> on the, the main street of Disneyland and of course the main entry plaza of Universal. But let me know your comments below. Subscribe. Subscribe for more updates. And as always, have a fantastic or fantastic day.